Hallelujah. Is someone learning? Very quickly for the sake of our time, I want to review five currencies. There are five spiritual currencies that we use to buy the truth. Anyone who lacks this currency will never be able to become the custodian and the steward of truth. And that means your life will remain impeded and will remain limited. If you're with me, say amen. amen. When the Bible says buy the truth, it then means you have to know how to generate the kind of currency that is used to purchase this great treasure that the Bible calls truth. Number one, very quickly. The first currency that is used to buy truth is called hunger and desire. Write it down, please. You will never be able to buy the truth if you cannot generate this currency of genuine hunger and desire. Proverbs chapter 4 from verse 5 to 9. Is God helping us already? Proverbs 4, 5 to 9. 4, 5 to 9. Get wisdom, it says, get understanding. It says, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. We're reading to 9, verse 6 now. It says, forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. I love verse 8. Watch this. It says, exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. Verse 9. It says, she shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver. But you must demonstrate desire. Desire. Proverbs 18 and verse 1. It says, through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. The currency of hunger. Men who find God. Men who find truth. Men who find the word that builds their lives and turns them into signs and wonders are people of hunger and pursuit. Someone say hunger. Say desire. When you come into the faith life and your desire is passive, anyhow, if God comes, let him come. If God blesses me, let him bless me. You will never find truth. Hmm. Are we together? desire hunger go and ask every great man who is used by God today including your father and the Lord the bishop they will tell you that the truths that have exalted them today came at the instance of this currency of hunger and desire show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest will you show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the footsteps of jesus we want to enter your rest man of god you will never find power till there is hunger hunger that is greater than your ego hunger that is greater than the desire to satisfy the flesh businessman you will never be trusted with the grace to rise to the point of kingdom influence until there is hunger and desire the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 13, it says, and you shall seek me and find me if and when you seek me with all your heart. Is someone learning tonight? The currency of hunger, the currency of desire. 
Matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 and 8. He says, ask. Jesus is speaking. It's a law. Ask and you shall receive. He says, seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. He says, for everyone. There are some blessings that may be for priests, for men of God. There are some blessings that may be for a few people, other tribes. But this one is for everyone. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. Is that true? It says, to everyone who seeks, he shall find. And he that knocketh, the door shall be opened. You are where you are because you are not hungry and desirous enough to go to the next level. Believe me when I tell you, you are at the level of the anointing. You are at the level of the prophetic. You are at the level of your kingdom exploits. Because there is no desire. There is something called labor when a woman is pregnant. Are we together now? Labor is when the baby gets tired and says, my season has come to an end inside that womb. I need a change of state and a change of environment. And the baby begins to mount pressure on the mother. And by an act of delivery, sometimes the desperation of that child is so strong, she may not be able to deliver normally. And the doctors will have to bring in another way. But by all means, that baby comes out. It says, as soon as Zion travails, that she's able to put forth a son. Listen, most of us here do not know that hunger and desire are currencies. Biologically, hunger is a sign of health. The first thing you lose when you are sick is your appetite. Is that true? So the moment you lose your spiritual hunger, is already a is a clear biblical index that something is happening to your spiritual life something is happening there is an attack on your destiny and your life the moment your hunger dries for greater level of levels of god's glory it means you are not ready to go far with god hunger those who are champions are known by the insistence of their desire are we together and by the level and the extent of their hunger. There are people who get so hungry when they go to the kitchen, they don't have time to check the color of the plate. All they want to see is their food. And they are so determined, the hunger can coordinate their focus. They will not focus on any other thing until the food arrives. The psalmist said, for as the deer pants after the water broke, he says, so my soul longs after you. Is someone learning? Mm -mm. The presence of God is free, but it's not cheap. The power of God is free, but it's not cheap. The glory of God is free, but it's not cheap. There is a price to pay the price is not physical money that is too mundane for spiritual things hunger you are the thirst you are the stream you are the hunger living deep inside of me you are the food that satisfies you are provision for the journey of my life you are everything until you get to this state in the spirit forget about business with God you are everything Listen, the jealousy of God demands that he becomes your exclusive obsession. If at any point in your Christian experience, there is any other thing that meanders his way to become a priority other than God and his purposes, you have aborted your potential for encounter with God. The jealousy of God will vet your desire until God and the things of the spirit become your ultimate obsession. 
I will tell you why many people do not encounter God. They have all kinds of passive desires. They have desire for fame, for money, for growth, to be a celebrity. Then God is somewhere smuggled in the equation. No, sir. You don't do business with God that way. Ask Jacob until he dismissed his wives. He dismissed his cattle. The Bible says when he was alone, for as long as there were other luggages with him, when he was alone, then he came. He said, leave me for the day breaketh. And Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. He said, what is your name? He said, I am Jacob. Thou shalt no longer be called Jacob. For as a prince, you have had power with God and you have prevailed. And the Bible says he touched the hollow of his thigh and blessed him. The sun arose and he called that place Peniel. He said, for I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. Can I hear me? Precious people of God, if you desire more of God, it does not come just by admiring those God is using. There must be a hunger that is generated in your heart. You want your songs to go to the nation? It's more than just composing a song. Uh -uh. The fuel for your influence, the fuel for your impact is hunger. Desire for God desire that drives you to fast desire that drives you to a retreat desire that drives you towards consecration currency number one you buy the truth with hunger desire that drives you towards consecration